Folks, how's everybody doing? Rudy, Timmy's Emporium, third floor, basement. Flesh and blood, more flesh and more fab news. Oh, please be gentle on the thumbs down button. Haven't you heard? YouTube's going to delete the thumbs down button because so many people are hitting it so hard. Flesh and blood's got some news coming out here. A uh, news article hit saying that Flesh and Blood LSS Legend Story Studios is working on a actual, uh, I guess, a series? Like a cartoon or animated or... There is actually a series or kind of a show in the works. Um, little misinformation in the article. The article is focusing specifically on a Netflix partnership, which really isn't accurate. But yes, the Legend Story Studios Flesh and Blood is working or exploring options, I think is the best uh, word choice, on the characters in a different type of series to expand on the lore of the game. Uh, from what I understand, uh, for at least what the company is stating versus this poorly written news article, um, they are exploring different options to make some sort of series to be on streaming devices, either, you know, uh, it, could, it could be a Netflix or a Hulu thing, it could be anything, you know how many streaming services there are, and who gets what, and exclude. it's a huge thing. The point is, um, I think that's an interesting step, because this is not something I expect. There's a couple things I never thought, like, Flesh and Blood would go in the direction of. Um, an online or a digital version of the game, which, again, brings more people to the game, um, allows people to interpret rules, because you know the rules of the game, and you get familiar with the functionality and the rhythm of the game. But, of course, the downside is, you know, it is called Flesh and Blood, designed to be played in person, in the flesh. You're supposed to play it in the real world, not in the, I'm sorry, Facebook, Metaverse, future, whatever the virtual world is going to become. So I never expect there to be like a digital flesh and blood, and I never thought there would be like an animated lore steer series, digital, either cartoon, or, you know, even maybe CGI, or maybe real-time, real character kind of actual kind of film you know I, I never expected these two type of things so to actually see a story where they're exploring options to, to add on to the story and lore and the kind of the branding of the company is very interesting um i mean you can't really be a net negative unless it's just absolutely awful but i think more importantly it's important to realize that you know they are looking at new options here uh moving forward what will end up happening i have no idea i mean they've talked about that in the world of magic they talked about that. Oh my, I think almost every IP has tried some sort of, like, um, kind of series or something. But overall, most of them don't work. Some do, and they're really well done. But I think most actually kind of crash and burn. Uh, anyways, and uh, of course, if anyone at Legend Story Studios watched this video, um, expand on the books too. You guys had that a really cool, like, super rare, hard to get from that retail appreciation kit. Like, this leather-bound, like, art book story, like... Like, there's one of them. Like, there needs to be a whole series of that. Like, we need a whole series of, like, a like a book lore series. Like, some sort of... And, like, they go together, or even if it's just an art book, or just even showing characters in different art and styles or equipment or locations, and even just some, like, subtext below each... Like, you could have a whole page of just art, and then, like, a, one paragraph discussing the particular art, either the location, the interaction, who's what, who's from where... Just something. I mean, people, the amount of questions I get, people asking if, like, if I have an art book for sale and one of the original leather bound flesh and blood books, I get messages like that all the time. Because people go on the open market, they'll hit, like, retailer appreciation kit or flesh and blood, and they're like, it's like one to two thousand. Actually, it might be higher than that by now. It's a couple thousand dollars for one of those original things. <laughs> Which is crazy, because if you think about it originally, that was a thing like James stayed up all night mailing out all over the United States. And most stores are like, what is this garbage? Rawr! They, they just chuck them in the garbage. And now people are like fighting to locate these couple thousand dollar, like rare original things from 2019. Or actually, it might have even been late 2018. It was crazy back then. Anyways, um, again, I think it's a net positive. Anything that can bring more eyes to any IP, any intellectual property, any brand, any cultural, just to expand it. You want people to be aware, you know, and doing this is a great direction to just say, so people can, you know, be like, what is this? I've never heard of this name. Who are these characters? Any form of that creates that recognition, that branding in your head where you may recognize a character or one of the dudes or the chicks in the series or location. You may be in a store one day and you're like, 
that looks familiar. I think I saw that logo on, you know, some streaming service. And that's kind of the importance of it. It's about building actual awareness. So I think that's an interesting step in the direction here, moving forward. Um, I think people are really excited, though, about this whole Everfest, this new set coming up. Um, especially since um, they already spoiled that Ark Knight Skullcap is going to be reprinted in it. So I think I'm starting to get a lot of messages on that. People seem to be pretty pumped about this next supplemental set. And I think it's because the first supplemental set, Crew, is such a... I don't know what it is about that thing, man. Crew is such a... Like... Maybe it's because that was the first set in October of 2020 or September 2020 when the market and fab went parabolic and everybody started discovering and going crazy. And maybe that's like a nostalgic alpha set for most people because that's when most people joined the game was during that time period. And maybe that's why people are... Re I mean, the, the excitement on this Everfest and the amount of messages and people asking about it is already greater than Tails, than Toa. And I'm like... I really like Toa. I have a hard time believing Everfest, a supplemental set, is going to be better than Tails. And again, I mean, you know, I'm still a Monarch fan. Right, whoa, don't throw anything at the camera. I said Monarch. Golly. Monarch to 0.001k? Come on, be nice to me, people. Um, yeah, so we're seeing a lot of hype around that. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more news and things as we approach the next few weeks. About more details and art and what's coming with Flesh and Blood in the uh, Q1, Q2 of 2022. But again, I know there's all kinds of attitudes and things to the prices in the secondary market. And I encourage everyone, let's just see what they do. You know, it's speculation and attacking, complimenting is an easy thing. But let's, let's watch the data. And that's kind of what we're doing here. So I want to lay that out there in the video also. A lot of hype is already building around this Everfest set. It feels like it's going to be more well received than Tails. I don't know if some people have leaked information already. I don't know what it is, but there definitely seems to be something brewing there. So I just want to share that in this video. And also, just like I said, this streaming service type of uh, series to expand the lore and the characters, I actually think is, is a good idea. I just hope it's well made. And I hope it works out because many, many series and shows based on different brands or very flavor of the month pop culture things tend to age very poorly. So you got to be real careful when you engineer and build something like that. But... I don't know, so far, I mean, the product, every product Flesh and Blood has kind of, you know, put to market in the last over two years, there's not a single product that people desperately hate. You know, there's not any product that people are like, oh, God, Fallen Empire! Like, no one's doing that. People are upset on certain pricing, but there's not really any products that people can just genuinely say, this is an awful product. Like, I've never heard that. So, that's my opinion on everything. Like I said, stay tuned for more news on things. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. As we go into the end of the year, I know, going into 2022, short video today, just wanted to share that news, just wanted to give you all my opinion, again, net positive across the board, any form of awareness is a straight up win, that's, that's all I gotta say.